What's up everybody? This is Dr. 89 Dre. Thank you for watching Let's Play Crash and the Boys Street Challenge. Crash Cooney and the Southside Boys swept the all-city track meet again. Like always, Cooney smashed all the rich snobs from up on the hill in every event. The worst hiller, Todd Thornley III, was furious at losing to Crash and the Boys. As Southside celebrated, Todd issued his challenge. You're going down, Cooney! Anytime, Thornley. Me and my boys will take you on anytime, any place. Now there's no turning back from the challenge. Winner takes all. Title screen. The 59th floor of Thornley Industries Worldwide HQ. Have you heard the news, Mr. Thornley? It didn't go well for the Hillers. I know, Mr. Lee. I've sent for my son, Todd. What a disgrace he is to us. Father, please don't throw me out! Silence, loser. We don't tolerate failures. We can't let Crash and the Southside Boys keep showing us up, Mr. Thorny. Todd, you must challenge them to a rematch. I'd like to get Cooney out there with no rules to protect him. That's it! Father, I'll challenge Crash to an unsanctioned contest to show him. And to rub it in, we'll take him on his own turf on the south side. This better work, Todd. Otherwise, you're history. I have a backup plan, Mr. Thornley. I'll build a team of super athletes from our 900,000 employees, just in case. You really want to do this, Todd? I mean, why do we have to go down there? The South Side is way too dangerous to be playing macho ego games. Quiet, Skip. I've got no choice. This time, Cooney has done it. I'm tired of those slobs from the South Side making me look stupid. Crashing the South Side has made me very nervous, Todd. I'm scared. Oh, grow up, Skip, you worm! I've got to find Spreckles and Van Smith. With their schools joining us, the Hillers will teach Crash a lesson or two. Mm. Naturally, the Southsiders accepted Todd's challenge, and the stage was set. Mode select. These are the different high schools you can play as. Southside, Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson. We're going to be playing as Southside. As Crash and the Boys. 400 meter hurdles first event. This is a wild event. Are you sure you're up to it? Let's start. Do you want to shop? In this case, not this time. First event, first heat, versus Dove, body wash, track and field, violence, in this event is to take the lead maintain the lead past the finish line once the running man at the bottom of the screen on the meter reaches the far right side boom got it 
Winner, Southside. Southside versus Lincoln. Monty, fourth heat. Get ready. Boom. I like to play aggressive in this event, although you only really need to be in the lead once we're both crossing the finish line, which is at a predetermined time. Maintain focus. Winner, Southside. Now for the final match, which team will prevail? Crash versus Tank. Tank representing the Thornley team. Gonna try and secure the lead here and then maintain that lead. Alright. We're getting close to our time here. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, and we're good, baby. It's all gravy. It's all to the gravy. Southside winner. Winning. First place. Congratulations, look at the boys on the winning team. They have met the street challenge. We're about to award the prizes. As you can see, I got we got 15 gold for getting first place. And there's the superlative hurdle burners. Play on words there. Five extra gold awarded to us, Southside. Next event, hammer throw. This event combines hammer throwing and golfing. Let's tee it up. Lost a little HP on that one as you can see. 177 out of 240. That's alright. We're gonna play as Crash again for this one. Um, do you wanna shop with Hot Girlfriend? Um, no, not this time. This is kind of a throwaway event for me. Um, I don't really try to win here per se just because. The computer is able to throw this thing a lot further than I am. Unless I buy one of the items at the store. But that costs about 10 gold, which is... About the same as the cost of a first place medal, so it's really... Really just balances out, you know, zeroes out even if you win, so... I figure grab a couple gold medals from the actual stage here. You know, not really worried about placing on the podium. Got one, landed in the mud. Okay, not a lot of distance there, that's alright. Ooh, water trap, hazard. Alright. little bit of distance alright 211 yards to go a little bit of distance on that one alright let's finish this up ten shots okay 
So... Here's the next contestant, Foil. Foil! His name is Foil. As you can see, just getting ridiculous distance. All the computer players get ridiculous distance in this event. That's why I don't even try winning. But now we just watch this guy until he gets done. And there's one guy after that. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh man, oh man. He looks kind of like Frankenstein. Well, folks, this is Crash in the Boys Street Challenge. Obviously, these folks take their high school sports very seriously. Hammer Golf, in case you've never had a chance to play Hammer Golf in real life, you're missing out. Six shots. Eh. Oh, we got third. Okay. Congratulations. Look at the boys on the winning team. They have met the street challenge. Okay. We got one gold for that one. That's alright. Swimming. This event is a fierce battle in the canal. The loser is the one who sinks first. Ready? Okay, we're gonna be crash again for this one. No shopping. Versus Todd. Okay. So this event is kind of brutal. I'm pretty good at this one. You basically try to drown the other person in the canal. You can see the Statue of Liberty in the background. That's how you can tell we're in New York City. But yeah. I try to stay above the water for the most part. Wait till the other person's oxygen meter gets to zero. Boom. Easy. Oh, he thought he was gonna go up for air, but they didn't really work out so well for him. But yeah, I try to play fairly defensively on this one uh, just because we want to save our HP for some of the later events oh particularly the last event fighting challenge oh well that would have been potentially uh, not a good situation for me but I got out of it so either this this match ends either when time runs out or the other person's HP, someone's HP gets to zero, whichever happens first. So I'm just trying not to lose very much HP. As you can see, I'm winning by a fairly decent margin. But yeah, these are high school kids just beating the crap out of each other, basically. I like the premise of it. I think this game was originally... Originally came out in Japan. Then they localized it for a US release. Probably had to change some sprites around. Maybe change some of the graphics and stuff like that. Make it look more like an American uh, setting. This is my favorite game for the original Nintendo. Pretty obscure. I've ne I haven't actually met anyone else who's played this game before. Except in my place on the old NES back in the day. The good old times. Boom. Winner. Southside. And boom goes the dynamite. Alright. 
fourth race versus Spreck Von Spreckles evidently from of a uh, German descent based on his name so basically going for the same strategy here just kinda running out the clock didn't really have to waste any gold on items so basically you have the option before any of these events to shop beforehand which lets you buy performance enhancing items performance enha enhancing drugs to basically cheat and get the upper hand in these events on most of them I don't bother buying any items in the store just because it costs metals to purchase these items and actually you determine the winner of the whole game by which team, which school has the most medals at the end. Gold, silver, and bronze. Gold obviously being worth the most, but actually it costs medals to buy items, so it's a little bit counterproductive even if you can get the advantage. So, for the most part, I'm uh, item free. Alright, almost down to a minute and a half left of the timer. Haven't lost any HP. We're doing pretty well here. I like the graphics on this one. They kind of... People turn blue when they go underwater. It's pretty, pretty cool. But as you can see, uh, Von Spreckles is having a hard time... Uh, trying to keep up with my skills understandably <laughs> ooh he's having a rough time right now Pressure is on, as you can see. He's uh, HP is really just dwindling. I have not lost any lost any HP myself, which is good. Twenty six seconds left. Da, 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 da. Winner, it's outside. Holding it down. Now for the final match, which team will prevail? Okay, versus Foil. Foil of Thornley. Team Thornley, I don't know if they have a high school that represents them or if they are just uh, mercenaries, hired thugs. It's my understanding these folks are hired thugs from the employees of the 900,000 employees of Thornley Industries. Or perhaps the sons of the employees since these are allegedly high school students. Who knows? You know, we're definitely definitely dealing with some amount of suspension of disbelief to make this whole story work that's alright but 900,000 employees that's that's gotta be a pretty big company probably a multinational a, mul a multinational corporation I wouldn't be surprised if some of these Thornley Industries uh, competitors are uh, flown in from overseas you know, they got that skrill to make it happen. Oh! Sorry, buddy. Yeah, this guy has got no chance. No chance at all. I wonder if there's any event like this in real life. People just trying to drown each other. That would be a cool event. They should make they should make an event like this in real life. 
just, just try and drown the other person. It's good, clean fun. Why not? So yeah, we're in Queens, New York. Right now, this is where this takes place. Can't see the Statue of Liberty anymore. That's because while staying stationary, we're also swimming down the length of this canal that is actually a flooded subway. And we, while being stationary in the water, we're also swimming forward. So we've gone so far that because of the curvature of the Earth, the horizon is actually moving. That's why the horizon is not, um, that's why the horizon line is moving. It's because of the curvature of the Earth. You know, that's how they disprove flat Earth theory. No offense to anybody that still believes in flat Earth, but Southside, winner. Congratulations, look at the boys on the winning team. They have met the street challenge. We're about to award the prizes, etc. 15 gold for that one, alright. We're doing well. Rooftop jumping. This event lets you jump from roof to roof. It can be dangerous, let's go. This event is pretty dangerous. It looks like we recovered to our full 240 HP. We're gonna want that for the last event, which is my favorite event. For this one, we're gonna play as Cheese, because we might lose some HP on this one. It involves potentially falling, inevitably falling from high buildings. I'm not very good at this one. We'll see how I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's better than I usually do so far. Wow. Wow. Okay, first fall after building six. Nice, nice. Whoops, wrong choice. Alright. Got at least one more here. Nice, nice. Oh! Twelve, okay. It's not bad. I almost ran out of HP, as you can see. So I cleared twelve buildings. That's actually pretty good for me. This event is kind of hard because, um... There's a few factors at play. Some buildings can be cleared with the unicycle or the pole vault pole. Some built some gaps can only be cleared by the pole. You don't always know unless you've got the course memorized ahead of time, which it is just a single course with no variations. So you gotta know which one to use. There's one Press one button to pick up the actual item. Oh, he only got nine. Damn. Okay. Anyway. Oh, we won that one. Oh, that's badass, actually. But yeah, that one's just kind of tricky with the controls, but... That's pretty amazing that we won that one. South side. Oh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna bring home the bacon on this one, folks. I can already tell. Fighting scene. The final event. So if we win the whole thing, we get the good ending. This is what we're going for here. This event lets you use many judo techniques. Fight with enthusiasm and you can win. We're going to be crash for this one. Um, actually, we're not going to shop. Let's go for a no shopping run. So, this one is all this event is all about enthusiasm. If you have enthusiasm, then you can win. So we want to get the other person's PP level down to a low amount. Then we get in for some grappling, and then we button mash and pick a move. Fireball spike is Crash's best move. It's a signature move. Takes away a lot of HP, as you can see. Spoon is getting close to 
the end of his stamina here. So either we gotta have more HP left when the time hits zero, or deplete the other person's HP all the way to zero. But let's just take care of business here. Sonic throw. It's hard to pick a specific move in the grappling part where you, as you can see, you kind of button mash and select the move that you want, but there's only a limited time to pick a move. I usually just panic and button mash, pick a random move, but that's okay. It's kind of a surprise that way, what, what I get. But let's just finish this up. This guy's clearly a scrub when it comes to the fighting arts. Not a judo master like myself. You know, I've been studying judo for at least a few years under the masters. No big deal. Disengage there. Alright, let's see if we can get a few jump kicks just to deplete, deplete his uh, levels here. I'm frankly getting a little bored of this. Oh! Oh, wow! I just knocked him out without even using a move. Winner, south side. That was way too easy. That guy sucked. Let's see if Artie of Lincoln High School will give us more of a challenge. Boom, throat chop throw. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, let's just play aggressive here. That's what it's about. Like I said, the most important... The most important factor here is enthusiasm. Hmm. See, we can kind of get some combos here. And now let's engage and fireball spike. Very nice. Oh, lost that one. That's okay. I'm not worried. This is a little different from your typical fighting game setup. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's unique. There are kind of two ways to fight. You're trying to deplete the person's PP. You know, I could just go straight for the button mashing to see if I can get his, his meter down to zero, but I like to make it a little easier for myself. Just I could run the clock out if he's going to be playing defensive like this. Because what? we got a minute and a half less left less than that. At this point we don't really need to play that aggressive. You know. Let's grab that gold there. See he's just waiting for his opportunity. It's not gonna work out for him that well. I can, I can tell you that right now. Alright let's get in. Nope. Alright. Back. Back to our strat here. Now let's get in. Uh, see? That's alright. If he wants to play defensive like that, he can feel free, because it's only playing in my favor. Twenty seconds. You know what? If he wants to run the clock out, he can feel free, cuz I think I got this one in the bag, folks. <laughs> Winner, Southside, match over. Now for the final match, which team will prevail? Versus Crush. I think since this guy's name is similar to mine, he must be the leader of, of this team. Kind of my uh, counterpart. He's got similar hairstyle, except he has hair gel. Hair gel? Homemade? Pomade? 
Okay, he's playing a little more aggressively than our previous competitors. Lower the boom punch. That's a pretty devastating move, but that's alright. I'm gonna try to play a little more aggressive here since that's what seems to be coming from uh, the opposition. If we can knock his. Oh, actually. Uh... Oh, he got me again. Okay, okay. Wow, I might actually have to try for this one. Fancy that. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can be a little more on point here. Wow, okay, okay. Just laying down the hurt a little bit. Let's see if we can make a comeback here. See, every time I get his meter down, he just runs away like a little... Something. Alright. Got him that time. Still got a lot of catching up to do here. I think it's possible, though. Fireball spike. Alright. Let's just, uh... Let's just focus on winning this right now, because I will not lose. What do you, what do you guys think is going to happen? Who's going to win? Who's going to who's going to take home the big shiny trophy? What do you think? Forty seconds left. That's what's up. Winner, south side. Match over. Congratulations. Look at the boys on the winning team. They've met the street challenge. Oh, movers and shakers, south side. Extra five gold pieces. Gold hay pennies. Individual prizes. I forgot about this part. Okay. Mr. Versatility, Crash, 10 gold. Tony MVP, Crash, 10 gold. Best of the worst, Rocky. Sorry, buddy, minus 15. Record Wrecker, Clint, 5. True Sportsman, Tank, good for you, man, 15 gold. We need more people like you in the world. Now it is time for the team prizes. How did you rate? Fifth place finisher is Thornley. Good luck next time. Fourth place finisher is Lincoln. You almost did it. Now it's time for the top three. Third place, Washington. Sorry, Todd. Second place, Jefferson. And the winner is Southside. Congratulations, Grand Champion. The street challenge is over. Thank you for playing. Way to go! Todd totally got hosed by Cooney and the Southside Boys! Meanwhile, back at Thornley Industries headquarters... Even our team of super athletes was no match for Crash Cooney, Mr. Thornley! Poor Todd! We'll get those Southsiders yet! No, Mr. Lee! Perhaps I've been too harsh! Excuse me, Mr. Thorny. You wanted to see me? I would have been here sooner, but your guard stopped all Southsiders. I do apologize, Mr. Cooney. Most of us on the hill are a bit shy with Southsiders. Congratulations on the way you and your boys handled the competition. Even our Thorny All-Star team had great praise for your competitive fire. Thank you both. The only team was quite good, but why are you being so nice? You see, Crash, years ago I led four undefeated seasons at Washington High. Your rivalry with Todd has made my relationship with him very difficult. Southside has never wanted problems with you and your son. 
But as someone challenges Crash and the boys, they get what's coming to them. Thank you for your time, Mr. Thorny. Maybe we can all be friends. Not... I don't think Todd and the Hillers will ever let go of their grudge. Crash was right about the Hillers. I'll get you, Crash Cooney. Yeah, he'll get you yet. You know, Todd, the only team should get Crash's gear, maybe. I know, if we can make him hit Crash like we do, they can take care of him. We waste the Southsiders without even getting our hands dirty. Ha ha ha! Yeah, he'll get you yet! I'll get you, Crash Cooney! Wait, Thorny Team flies home today! Hurry, Skip, we've got to get to the airport! I'm coming, Todd! Hey, uh, Todd! What you doing here? Come on, Rocky! They're ready to board the plane! I brought you this gift! After all, we're all part of the Thornley family! I also have a special invitation from my father for you to come back soon! By the way, I thought you should know Crash has been bad-mouthing all of you! Thanks, Todd! We'd love to come back! But I can't believe Crash is like that! Oh, you'd be surprised! He called you guys losers and muscle heads! If you come back soon, you can pound on him in those no-good Southsiders! Maybe we will, Todd, but right now, we gotta go! Thanks for the flowers! Just you wait, Cooney. They'll be back. Don, did I miss Rocky and his buddies? I promise to come see them off. Why are you here? The Thornley team has nothing to do with you, Cooney. In fact, I don't think you want to be around when they come back. Sure I do. They're great athletes. They said the same about me and my boys. Hey, Tana, aren't these the flowers you brought, Rocky? They were in the trash! Wait, there's no... Todd's a total loser. Cheers to our pal, Crash! What? You will pay, Cooney? I'll have all of those pinheads fired and blame you! They'll come back looking for your head! I'd be careful, Todd. Could be your head that rolls when they come back. I'm almost tempted to make your head roll myself, right down the railway! Just try it, you Southside slob! Get him, Skip! Not me, man! I like my head right where it is! I can't wait to get you girly me and healers on ice during hockey season! Hockey season? That's right! I'll let you off today, Cooney, just wait! That's what you always say, Hiller. You're all talk. Meantime, Crash and the boys still rule. Coming soon, Crash and the boys ice challenge. Thank you for watching. Let's play Crash and the boys street challenge. I'm Dr. 89 Dre. Please like and subscribe. Peace.